at this majestic monument. I hope you all know that this is Taj Mahal. It is considered one of the seven wonders of the world. Now, it is widely accepted that this monument was built by Shah Jahan in the memory of his beloved wife. Now, this masterpiece is a sign of Mughal architecture and we all love to visit this place at least once in our lifetime. Now, do you know that this monument is built up of white marble which is a type of rock. So, in this video, we will We'll discuss about this type of rock. Now, before discussing about the type of rock, let us see how grilled sandwich is prepared. I hope most of you love to have it. But how is it prepared? You arrange the slices of bread, veggies and cheese, layer over layer, club them and put them in a grilling machine. And what happens? Due to heat and pressure of the grilling machine, the cheese melts and the veggies and the raw bread gets cooked. So, do you see that due to heat and pressure of the grilling machine, the raw bread transforms into a cooked one. Similarly, the rocks found on the earth's surface transforms into a new one due to heat and pressure. And in this video, we will learn about that type of rock. We know there is excessive heat and pressure inside the earth. So these two factors that is excessive heat of the earth's interior and pressure of the overlying layers of rocks alter the color, texture and appearance of the existing rocks and form new ones. So this process of transformation of composition of existing rocks and formation of new ones is called metamorphism and the newly formed rocks are called metamorphic rocks. Now, to understand how the rocks metamorphosis due to heat and pressure, let us consider an example. Shell, a type of sedimentary rock, gets metamorphosed into slate. Slate further transforms into phyllite. Phyllite transforms to cyst and finally knees, a type of metamorphic rock, is formed. Thus, in this picture, we can see that the color and texture of each rock varies and this happens due to increasing metamorphism. So, in the previous example, we saw that how the rocks get metamorphosed or transformed due to heat and pressure. So, these newly formed rocks are called metamorphic rocks. Hence, what are metamorphic rocks? Metamorphic rocks are the rocks that undergo metamorphism or change due to intense heat and pressure. Now, the word metamorphism is a Greek word where meta means change and morph means form. Thus, the word metamorphism means change in form. Therefore, the rocks that change their form due to intense heat and pressure are called metamorphic rocks. So, there are two factors that cause these rocks to change that is heat present in the earth's interior and pressure of the overlying rocks. So now let's learn about few examples of metamorphic rocks. Do you remember I discussed about Taj Mahal in the beginning of the video. I mentioned that Taj Mahal is composed of white marble. So marble is an example of metamorphic rock. Now, marble is formed from limestone, thus limestone, which is a type of sedimentary rock, gets metamorphosed into marble, which is a metamorphic rock. Another example of metamorphic rock is quartzite. Now, quartzite is a metamorphosed form of sandstone, which is a sedimentary rock. Thus, due to intense heat and pressure, sedimentary rock gets converted to metamorphic rock. Like limestone gets converted to marble 
and sandstone gets converted to quartzite. Now, apart from sedimentary rock, another type of rock that is igneous rock also gets converted to metamorphic rock due to heat and pressure. For example, basalt which is a type of igneous rock gets converted to cyst which is a type of metamorphic rock. Another igneous rock is granite. It changes to gneiss due to heat and pressure. Thus, we see that under heat and pressure, the original rock gets metamorphosed and forms a new rock which has different color and texture. And these newly formed rocks are called metamorphic rocks. Now, let's discuss about some importance of metamorphic rocks. As I have discussed in the beginning of this video, Taj Mahal is composed of white marble and marble we just discussed is a type of metamorphic rock. Again, we commonly see blackboards in our classrooms. Do you know a type of metamorphic rock is used to make blackboards and that is slate. Now, as discussed earlier, there are two main factors that causes the metamorphic rocks to form. They are high temperature of the earth's interior and pressure of the overlying rocks. So, due to pressure of the overlying rocks and high heat of the earth's interior, metamorphism occurs or metamorphic rocks are formed and depending on these two factors metamorphism can be categorized into two kinds the first one is thermal metamorphism thermal metamorphism is defined as the type of metamorphism where rocks changes due to high temperature. So, if the rocks get changed due to excessive heat, it is defined as thermal metamorphism. Now, the word thermal is related to temperature. Thus, thermal metamorphism defines the type of metamorphism where rocks change due to high temperature. Another kind of metamorphism is dynamic metamorphism. In case of dynamic metamorphism, the rocks get metamorphosed due to excessive pressure. And this excessive pressure comes from the overlying layers of rocks. And due to this, the rocks get converted and new rocks are formed. Therefore, on the basis of agents or factors of formation, metamorphism can be categorized into two types, thermal metamorphism and dynamic metamorphism. Now, there are other two kinds of metamorphism, that is regional metamorphism and contact metamorphism. Now, in case of mountain building process, the magma is effective over a vast region and this is known as regional metamorphism. Now, this picture defines regional metamorphism. Now, in this picture, see that due to interaction of tectonic plates, the magma chamber gets exposed and it tries to escape. Now, during this process, if any rock gets transformed, this process of transformation is called regional metamorphism. Thus, regional metamorphism is effective over a large area. Now, sometimes magma is effective only over a small region and bakes the adjoining rocks. The new rocks thus formed in this process of formation of metamorphic rocks is known as contact metamorphism. And contact metamorphism, the change is effective only over a small area. So, the comparison between regional and contact metamorphism is that in case of regional metamorphism, the change is effective over a large area. But in case of contact metamorphism, the change is effective only a small area. That is, the adjoining rocks will only get transformed and will form new metamorphic rocks. Now, another point of distinction between regional and contact metamorphism is that in case of regional metamorphism, high-grade metamorphic rocks are formed. For example, slate. 
and in case of contact metamorphism low grade metamorphic rocks are formed for example marble Now before we proceed with our lesson let us answer this question which type of metamorphism is effective over a small region is it regional metamorphism contact metamorphism dynamic metamorphism or thermal metamorphism the correct answer is contact metamorphism in case of contact metamorphism the metamorphism is effective only over a small region Sometimes due to excessive pressure the minerals get squeezed and the rocks thus formed have a platy or sheet like structure these rocks are called foliated metamorphic rocks now here we have the pictures of two foliated metamorphic rocks they are shale and slate from these pictures we can see that shale which is a type of foliated metamorphic rock has plate like structure again shell which is another type of foliated metamorphic rock has plate like structures however non foliated metamorphic rocks have no platy or sheet like structures for example quartzite and marble see from this picture we can find that neither quartzite nor marble have platy or sheet like structure now let us discuss another point of difference between foliated and non foliated metamorphic rocks now foliated metamorphic rock consist of flat and elongated minerals while non foliated metamorphic rocks lack flat and elongated minerals that is flat and elongated minerals are not present in non foliated rocks and the example of foliated metamorphic rocks are shale and slate an example of non foliated metamorphic rocks are quartzite and marble now here we have a summary chart on types of metamorphic rocks metamorphic rocks can be classified into various types depending on these factors the first factor is agent now based on agent or factor of formation metamorphic rocks can be categorized into two types thermal metamorphism and dynamic metamorphism in case of thermal metamorphism the metamorphic rocks are formed due to excessive temperature while in case of dynamic metamorphism metamorphic rocks are formed due to excessive pressure now on the basis of area of extent of metamorphism metamorphism can be categorized into two types regional and contact metamorphism in case of regional metamorphism metamorphism is effective over a vast area while in case of contact metamorphism metamorphism is effective only over a small region and finally on the basis of texture of the metamorphic rocks metamorphic rocks can be classified into two types foliated rocks and non foliated rocks foliated rocks have platy or sheet like structure while non foliated rocks have no platy or sheet like structure so now we know what is a metamorphic rock how they are formed and various types of metamorphic rock now let us discuss about the characteristics of metamorphic rocks the first characteristic is that metamorphic rocks are harder than other rocks from which they are metamorphosed the excessive heat and pressure convert the original rock and makes them harder and due to this metamorphic rocks thus formed are harder than the original rocks so due to intense heat and pressure metamorphic rocks become harder than the original rocks now another feature of metamorphic rock is that it lack fossils the excessive heat and pressure that form the metamorphic rock destroys any organic matter present in the rock and therefore metamorphic rocks do not contain any fossils 
again the same factors that is excessive heat and pressure alters the chemical composition of the metamorphic rocks and they are very different from that of their parent rocks. Now you must be wondering where metamorphic rocks are found. Metamorphic rocks are generally formed at depth in the earth's interior. Now, since the Earth's crust is constantly changing due to exogenic and endogenic processes, the metamorphic rocks eventually with time gets exposed to the Earth's surface. And this map shows the major places where metamorphic rocks are found across the globe. And the region where metamorphic rocks are mostly found is represented by this color. And we can see that metamorphic rocks are found here in this part of North America, here and in other parts of the world. Now, these are the three major types of rocks found on the Earth's surface. And metamorphic rocks are formed from other two kinds of rocks. For example, basalt, which is a type of igneous rock, gets metamorphosed into cyst, which is a type of metamorphic rock. Again, limestone, which is a type of sedimentary rock, gets metamorphosed into marble, which is a type of metamorphic rock. Again, the metamorphic rock also gets converted into another type of metamorphic rock. For example, at the beginning of the video, I discussed that phyllite, which is a type of metamorphic rock, gets converted to cyst and cyst finally forms knees, which is a type of metamorphic rock. Thus, metamorphic rock can be formed from igneous rock, sedimentary rock or metamorphic rock itself. So, in this video, we studied about the definition of metamorphic rock, kinds of metamorphic rock, the process in which they are formed and the characteristics of metamorphic rocks. In our next video, we will study about rock cycle. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon. You can also register for free at deltastep.com or download the Delta Step app to learn one to one with our amazing teachers or to get access to our 5000 amazing videos as per your school syllabus. Master each topic with our adaptive practice technology. Get million plus questions with step by step solutions and unlimited mock tests. Get all your doubt resolved instantly. Learn via games and win amazing prizes like playstations and iPads. So at Delta Step, learning is not just fun and easy, but it's rewarding too. So register for free now.